Forget doctors. This workout reveals how long you'll live. I'm dead serious. There's one exercise in this workout. It takes just 10 seconds, requires zero equipment, and predicts your future better than any medical test. If you can't do this, you're five to six times more likely to die in the next six years. And here's the thing. Most people under 40 think they'd crush this test, but when they actually try it, they can't even get past step one. Here's how it looks. Sit down on the floor, cross-legged. Now, stand back up. It's called the sit-rise test, and it's stupidly simple. But here's the catch. You start with 10 points, and every time you use your hand, knee, forearm, or side of your leg for support, you lose a point. Look at what most people do. That person just scored five or six points maximum. Now watch this. That's 10 points right there. I know this sounds like a kid's game, right? But it's not. In a huge study, people who scored the lowest on this test were five to six times more likely to die within the next six years than those who scored highest. For example, if you scored eight or above, you're golden. Your body moves like it's supposed to. If you scored six or below, your body is already breaking down and it's only going to get worse. But if you scored three or below, you're in the danger zone right now. And what's really disturbing is that 99% of people think they're safe until they actually try this. That's when reality hits hard. But you know what else hits even harder? Popular exercises like crunches. Did you know this specific exercise can destroy your spine? I made a guide called Exercises You Should Avoid at All Costs that shows which exercises to avoid and what to do instead, all backed by real data. Some of them can even send you to surgery if you don't stop doing them. Grab the link in description to see what I'm talking about. But wait, we're not done yet. There's a second test, and this one is even scarier. If you can't do this for 10 seconds, you're in serious trouble. Here's how it works. Stand on one leg, eyes open, arms at your side, and time yourself. That's it. Incredibly easy, right? But let me share something scary. In a study of over 1,700 people aged 50 and older, those who couldn't hold this one leg balance for 10 seconds had an 84% higher risk of dying in the next decade. Now, this is what happens when most people try this. That's not balance. That's your body screaming that something is broken. So let's watch what good balance actually looks like. The difference between these two isn't age. It's whether your nervous system is working or failing. Let me explain. Your brain is constantly sending signals to your muscles, thousands of tiny adjustments every second to keep you standing. When you can balance perfectly, this system works like a Formula One race car. But when you wobble and shake, that car starts breaking down. And sooner or later, it's going to crash. Now here's where it gets weird. Your brain already knows when you're going to die, and it's been trying to tell you. But there's one thing you do every day that reveals your exact expertise. Day. You just don't know you're being tested. Do you know that the speed you walk down the street predicts exactly when you'll die? Doctors call it your sixth vital sign right alongside blood pressure and heart rate. Here's how to test yourself. Find a straight path about six meters long, roughly 20 feet. Walk at your normal pace, like you would down the street and time yourself. Don't try to impress anyone, just walk naturally. If it takes you more than six seconds to cover that distance, that's a major red flag. Slow walking speed has been linked to everything from heart disease to dementia, and yes, even early death. In a massive study of over 34,000 adults, researchers found that every 0.1 meters per second faster you walk cuts your risk of death by around 10%. Now, for the next test, all you need is your hand, because weak hands equal early death. In fact, in a massive study involving half a million people, researchers found that those with the weakest grip strength had a 20% higher risk of dying from any cause, and a 30% higher risk of heart attack or stroke. Think about that. Your handshake literally predicts your heart attack. So here's the test. If you have a hand dynamometer, squeeze as hard as you can and note the number. For men, below 26 kilograms, 57 pounds is a warning sign, and for women, below 16 kilograms, 35 pounds. But if you don't have a device, no problem. Find a pull-up bar and just hang. Here are some guidelines. Men, if you can't hang for 60 seconds, you're weak, and for women, 30 seconds minimum. Failing these numbers means your grip is dangerously weak. Even hospitals use grip strength to predict whether a patient will survive surgery or recover from a disease. All right, you've seen the tests, so let's put them together into one workout that literally predicts your lifespan. This this takes five minutes. Do it once a month and track your scores, because these numbers, they're your body's expiration date. Exercise one, 
the sit-rise test. Start standing, sit down cross-legged, then stand back up. No hands, knees, or support equals 10 points. Subtract one point for each support you use. Your target should be eight or more points. Exercise two, single leg stand. Stand on one leg, arms at your sides, eyes open. Hold for as long as possible. Then switch legs and repeat. Target, 10 seconds minimum. Exercise three, walking speed test. Mark out 20 feet. That's about six meters. Walk at your normal pace and time yourself. Target, under six seconds. Exercise four, dead hang. Find a pull-up bar and hang with a full arm extension. Men, you need 60 seconds minimum and women, 30 seconds. Now, here's your scoring. If you pass all four tests, you're aging like wine. If you fail one or two, you've got work to do, but you're fixable. And if you fail three or more, you're literally watching yourself die in slow motion. Do this workout right now. Screenshot your scores, then do it again in 30 days and see if you've added years to your life. Now, if you failed some tests, here's the good news. Every single one of these markers can be improved. You only need 10 minutes a day that literally adds years to your life. Every single day, before coffee, before scrolling, you do this. First, balance wake up. Stand on your right leg for 30 seconds, then switch. Left leg, 30 seconds. If you can't do it, that's fine. When your leg touches the floor, just lift it up and keep going. Next, sit rise practice. Five times, you're going to lower yourself to the floor, slowly. Use one hand if you need to, for now. But here's the key. Focus on control going down. That's where the magic happens. Last, speed walks. Walk at a normal pace for 20 seconds, then as fast as you can without running for 10 seconds. Do that three times. Now, three evenings a week, you add another six-minute workout. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever days work for you. You start with grip. Find anything to hang from. A pull-up bar, a sturdy door frame, even a tree branch. Hang for as long as as you can. Maybe it's only 10 seconds right now. That's your baseline. You're building towards 60. Then you hit your legs. 20 times you stand up from a chair without using your hands. Then 10 single leg deadlifts on each side. Hold the wall if you need to. Then 10 lunges. But here's the key. Three seconds down, three seconds up. Slow is strong. Finally, core stability. Back against a wall, slide down into a sitting position, hold for 30 to 60 seconds, then side planks, 20 seconds each side, then get on all fours and do bird dogs, five per side, holding each for five seconds. 30 seconds rest between everything, six minutes total.